U.S. is concerned about Ukrainian strikes on Russian nuclear radars. The United States is concerned about Ukrainian strikes on Russian nuclear radar stations. According to the Washington Post, the United States fears the strikes could dangerously anger Moscow at a time when the Biden administration is weighing whether to lift restrictions on Ukraine's use of American weapons to strike Russia. The United States is concerned about recent Ukrainian strikes on Russian ballistic missile Early warning sites, the U.S. official said, speaking on condition of anonymity due to the sensitivity of the matter. Washington conveyed to Kiev its concern about two attacks over the past week on the radar station. At least one strike in Armavir caused some damage. These sites were not involved in supporting Russia's war against Ukraine. But they are sensitive locations because Russia may feel its strategic deterrent capabilities are being targeted, which could undermine Russia's ability to maintain a nuclear deterrent against the United States, the official said. However, a Ukrainian official familiar with the matter said Russia used the radar to monitor the activities of the Ukrainian military, particularly Kiev's use of aerial weapons such as drones and missiles. The official, speaking on condition of anonymity, confirmed that the General Intelligence Directorate was responsible for the strikes. Ukraine faces a constant threat to its existence from Russia, which has recently gained ground thanks in part to its sophisticated radar and weapons jamming technologies. This rendered some Western projectile and guided missile launches useless. The capability has also enhanced Moscow's ability to track British and US-provided long-range weapons and drones that have caused serious damage to Russia's Black Sea Fleet and military installations in Crimea. The Ukrainian official said the strikes were aimed at reducing Russia's ability to monitor Ukrainian military activity in southern Ukraine. The drone, which targeted a radar station near Orsk, covered more than 1,800 kilometers. This is a record distance to the attacked facility. A Ukrainian official declined to say whether the strike caused damage. U.S. officials have said they are sympathetic to Ukraine's plight as administration officials are actively weighing whether to lift restrictions on the use of U.S.-provided weapons for strikes inside Russia. But if Russia's early warning capabilities were undermined by Ukrainian attacks, even partially, it could harm strategic stability between Washington and Moscow, the U.S. officials said. Some analysts have been puzzled by the targets. While Krasnodar is close enough to Ukraine to track missiles and drones, the radar station near Osk is focused on the Middle East and China. Asked why they targeted such a distant target, the Ukrainian official said Russia had switched all capabilities to the war against Ukraine. A strong fire has occurred in Russian President Vladimir Putin's compound in Ongedeski district of Russia's Altai Republic, local media outlets reported on Thursday. The reason of fire remains unknown. The compound was used by Putin for holding informal meetings. Russian news outlet Serena published images shared by local activists of what they claimed to be the footages of Putin's burned residence in Altai compound. However, earlier another Russian media outlet Commerce Money reported that, contrary to widespread media reports, the complex belongs to Russia's state-owned energy company Gazprom and is used for its receptions. The luxury high-tech bunker is located in the Altai Mountains and was reportedly designed for protection in the event of nuclear war. The giant underground bunker is located in the remote region of Angudeski near the border with Mongolia. According to various media sources, during the COVID pandemic, presidential helicopter was regularly seen in the air over the mountains. The compound is just one of Russian leader Vladimir Putin's favorite hideaways.